Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon Boss Walkthrough Series. This is Boss Mode Walkthrough, Angzan Pit Normal. Uh, much like most of the Boss Mode, we are going to start out with the standard Undead Team. Um, like I said, usually we do this to test out survivability, see how tough the enemies are and such like that. If you took a look at the enemies to start with, we're dealing with a lot of water enemies, which... Uh, um, isn't too bad. Uh, the main thing we have to watch out for is that they're probably going to be either freezing or chilling. Those are things to, to keep an eye out for, as well as the occasional frostbite. Nice thing about the undead team is the frostbite really doesn't matter because of their high level attacks and the uh, epic attacks on York and Hansuke. So it's a relatively long dungeon compared to some of them, but. Uh, not too bad. You do have to deal with a couple of blue torches, but uh, with heavily uh, defended undead team, not really too much of an issue. So, um, normally I could probably auto run through a bunch of this to start with, but uh, uh, in general I like to see how things pan out first. So I decided to use the Vigilance on Hansuke here just to see where, where things uh, head out. Um, typically when you get these blue archers, and I hadn't really checked these guys yet, uh, sometimes when they hit critical attacks they get second uh, turns uh, or they get some other type of uh, a buff or maybe a debuff on, on you. And so since they're not going to have elemental advantage against Hansuke, a little bit of vigilance uh, is a good, uh, good opening gambit in my opinion. It's only going to last about one room, maybe two room, rooms, but... Uh, um, it's something to get a, a sense of how the, the levels are going. Uh, generally speaking, uh, depending on the team you're bringing, if you bring Overlord instead of Hansuke, you got to watch out for those uh, gorillas. The, uh, the apes, they like to have the, um, the challenge accepted, which is a pretty brutal move. I'm, it's fortunate that Hansuke doesn't actually taunt, uh, so he can kind of block that. Um, otherwise, uh, the other guys that I'm most concerned about are usually those beast guys. I don't have a, a name for them because they're not really like Jabberjaw, but uh, um, they tend to do uh, some sort of like a grizzly rampage. It can be uh, really annoying because sometimes they'll hit one guy more than once or sometimes uh, three times. Uh, so in general, I would probably go for them first, but uh, because the ape was out there, I know the apes tend to do, regardless what color they are, they tend to do triple slam. So... I don't want him taking any cheap shots on me, uh, so I usually kill them first. So in this room here, we're dealing with first uh, the fast enemies, two of them for the first time, not really that big of an issue. We see that guy did the rampage there, and he hit uh, Brom, which is kind of what I was worried about the first time. So I um, used my heals here with Zom, and... Uh, as long as he hit it, it was actually kind of risky just to attack him. If he would have dodged, it would have been a huge waste of taste for brains. Uh, when realistically, that attack probably would have killed uh, either of those other guys. Um, so, honestly, uh, with where it was, it probably would have been safer to try and use uh, Brahms' heal instead. But uh, I was feeling particularly confident there, I guess. Okay, so now we got uh, two of the apes this time. We'll see if they actually do anything. They didn't, the first one didn't at least. The second one decided not to either, so um, really wasn't too dangerous there. And then Brom kills him in one hit, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty minor. All right, one more room here. And nothing really overly dangerous here. The Piercing Chomp, um, don't overestimate that or underestimate it rather. The the Piercing Chomp can hurt pretty uh, pretty hard if it hits the wrong guy. So be a little bit cautious about that with the, the team you bring. Uh, I do have two normal mode uh, um, teams that I'm running here. Um, and then you can also check out the champion mode and boss mode as well just for... Uh, um, other options there, and then you'll see where the the blue torches uh, come into play here. All right, so we're hitting up the the boss room now. The boss room, compared to other boss rooms, is pretty manageable. You really, 
only focused on that uh, main guy. He's got a, a fast trait that allows him to go first, regardless, uh, um, you know, what he may look like. Um, so I tend to, to mark him and then whip out a friend hero. That seems to be the safest option. Um, I know, honestly, once it gets to um, Brahm and Zom with the mark for death, a successful one on him, it's probably going to kill him in, in one hit. So he's actually fairly weak compared to some of the boss mode bosses. He doesn't have anything like thick skin or anything like that. Um, maybe he does. I didn't, I didn't see it there, but uh, I was kind of surprised uh, Kozar didn't do that much damage to him. Um, but yeah, if, if Hansuke can kill him with that, it's not... Uh, uh, I don't think it was a thick skin issue. Uh, I think it was just Kozar just not hitting him that hard, or else he's got some extra boost towards dark heroes. I don't know what it was, but uh, uh, maybe it was just bad luck on that particular Kozar. But he's not overly tough, so if you, if you get to the end with pretty much any team, um, you should be able to beat him pretty easily. So... Um, the other guys, unless you leave them hanging around for a couple turns where they can do their triple slam and such, um, the other gorillas really aren't that big of an issue. So uh, stick around next time. We're going to show a second version of normal mode before we move on to champion mode. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments below.